Hi, my name's Nick Sims, and we're lucky enough to have Sick Lanes here in the Alpine Styles office in Torrance. Um, thank you for the opportunity, and let me show you. I, we'll start off with some of the gravity, uh, the gravity gear. As a brand, Alpine Styles, we're coming into our 50th year. We're a brand built on technical innovation and protection. That's really been the foundation of the company. And as we move into the cycling side, we're managing to bring a lot of the features and technology that we've developed in the auto side from the likes of Formula One and NASCAR and on the motorcycle side from like Brian Villopoto and Barsha and MotoGP. So we've got a lot of diversity of technical products where we can pull from to develop some of the best products for, for cycling. Um, the Gravity, it's our downhill based gear, it's a very lightweight feeling in the jersey, it's a very, very smooth, um, very comfortable because it's, as we all know, it's important to be able to move around on the bike and not really notice that you've got <clears throat> clothing on, it may sound strange, but you know, if you don't notice the stuff rubbing or chafing, that's perfect, you can concentrate on just having fun on the bike. So we've added huge vent panels down the side of the jersey, it's a very wide open collar. Um, there's enough volume that if you want to run protection vest under it, you can. Um, but it's just, you know, very bold graphic. Um, it's just a very lightweight material. Like I said, it's about the important thing is about having comfort when you're riding the bike. Then when you move to the short, a lot of what you see in the short has come from what we've learned on the motocross side. We've got, of course, we have the very cool embossed logos, but they're a rubberized logo, so they give you some. Uh, abrasion resistance if you you go down and you brush against rocks and stuff like that the your the use of the Kajura fabrics and things um, again <clears throat> big vent panels lots, allows a lot of airflow through them you've got adjustable d-ring closures on the waist uh, stretch panel on the back of the shorts so that allows you to you know ride seated but also movement on the bike and again the movement uh, is a big thing. It's what we've learned from from the years of developing some of the best products uh, out there. So, gravity. It's more agro orientated, park lightweight, but offering good abrasion resistance and, and comfort on the bike. The other one I'd like to show you is the drop. Um, <clears throat> this comes in a couple of versions in the jersey. There's a slightly heavier weight long sleeve jersey for riding like early in the morning. <clears throat> excuse me or um, Late late spring, early fall, it's a, a slightly heavier weight material for those, those type of rides. It has venting uh, down the side and around the neck area and across the top of the shoulders. Uh, full sleeve, you've got a optics wipe on the inside, uh, on the left hand side. There's a little hidden pocket on the right hip um, that is going to allow you to run an MP3 player, run it in. You can run your headphones up the inside of the jersey and there's a little loop on the collar to pull that through. So. Again, lightweight feel, comfort, airflow through it, a uh, very lightweight jersey. It gives you that uh, extra volume, again, that you can run something like our Pro Comp vest underneath if you're running Enduros. Then we have the Drop short sleeve jersey, and this is a very lightweight uh, three-quarter sleeve. You'll see there's a huge vent panel on the back, and now with a lot of the packs being designed to kind of stand off the back a little bit more, there's no point in having a jersey that can't breathe through the back if you've got a pack on. So you'll, you'll notice we've actually on the back of this jersey, there's a vent panel across the shoulders, and then a, a different texture in vent panel that runs down the spine. So you've got two different vent panels uh, to allow that airflow uh, over the jersey, and then on the front. You've got the cool scalloped lines that kind of follow the chest and then down the side, and they're, they're a vent panel as well. So this is a very, this is a summer riding jersey uh, for, to allow a lot of air flow through. Again, the collars, it's very important to keep them low, keep them wide so you don't, you don't notice any chafing. So that's the drop, kind of enduro, free ride, uh, nice lightweight jersey. And the shorts that accompany that, you've got hidden vent, uh, vent zipper panel down each leg. You've got pockets, you've got a D-ring closures. One thing that we do um, over the competition is <clears throat> we don't run small, medium, large, extra large. We'll run from a 28 to a 40 in waist size. And what that allows us to do is you, you're gonna start off with a better fitting garment to start with, rather than having to make a short that fits a huge, huge range of people um, we can narrow that down. It's got a so 28 to 40 in waist. 
you've got a removable liner, you've got a hip pocket, thigh pocket, D-ring closures on the side so you can actually size it a little bit, a bit more, size it down or size it up accordingly. Um, hidden stretch panel across the back. Uh, again, this is t technology that we've learned from our, our, our motocross line. So that's our enduro riding short, the, the drop short, tie that in with the jersey and you've got a really nice combination there. Then as we talk about enduro, we have our pro comp jersey. That's a very protective jersey vest uh, to be worn underneath uh, the garment, you know, a, a top or something like that. It's a low volume. You've got uh, two different densities of foam. You've got a hard sort of almost memory foam on the spine that you can remove the back protector if you don't want it. Uh, you've got protection on the, the shoulders and then down the chest as well. The chest the top two parts of the foam on the chest are removable, so if you're running a neck support, you can pull those pieces of foam out and you get a good contact with uh, the neck support. Also, you'll notice the, the different textures on the side panels, and they, they're they designed specifically to stop wrinkling and bunching up. Again, you know, you've, you've heard me mention it before, you don't want the geometry to ride up, you don't want it to wrinkle and pinch and, and chafe, you want to concentrate on nailing those trails. So. Just these textures allow the garment to really hug the body. It's a compressive fit, low volume. You can put it under a jersey and you're not gonna look like the Michelin man when you're out there. So that's the Pro Comp uh, jersey. Um, and then the gloves, one of my favorites that, that we're showing you is the Aero Glove. It's a very minimal glove. There's like no p extra padding on the palm. Um, a key thing you'll see on the palm, we have a stretch panel that sits um, sits on the inside on the outside of the glove and what that does is when you're normally holding a grip you get a bit of bunching of material on that outside edge and you can get blisters you know we've all had it whereas this stretch panel allows it to stretch and you don't get that bunching up and another nice thing if you feel it it's actually textured so it will grip the grips as well so it's not going to let the hand slip and things like that but it's a very lightweight glove you know hence the phrase it fits like a glove it really does it's it's just super smooth, very minimal. Um, it's a favorite of our, a lot of the riders out there riding the downhill and stuff like that as well. Doesn't have the protection across the knuckles, but they, they prefer it for the fit and the feel. Like well, you want to be able to feel the bars, feel what the bike's doing and have those uh, easy access to the controls. Uh, and I think those are some of the key, key things. Oh, one thing we didn't tell you about um, is the tech base layer. Uh, it's an undershirt, which again, we've taken technology from what we've learned on the car side now these guys racing formula one and karting and stuff like that they're getting huge temperature you know they've got multiple layers on they've got their nomex suit and then they have a nomex base layer and they're seeing like 160 180 degrees so they're getting pretty warm um, and our tech base layer that we've learned we've taken some of that material that we've used to make a very lightweight very absorbent great wicking uh, base layer that you can wear all year round, whether it's boiling hot outside or, or really cold, it's gonna do the job. So definitely take a look at those, it's worth, worth looking at. Yeah, so if you wanna go and check it all out, you can go to alpinestars.com, uh, click on the cycling tab, everything is up now, um, and you can just buy it directly through through the website. So thanks for, thanks for stopping by and allowing us to show you the gear.